Hey guys, this is Lily and welcome back to another speed build. Today we are doing a Laurel Canyon inspired house that originally was supposed to be a house. I was going to try to recreate the house that John Lautner um, made in 1960. It's called the Chemosphere House. It's a very famous house. It looks very similar to a house they designed for the Charlie's Angels set. Um, but I made the chemosphere right there. As you can see, that octagon, it's an octagon shaped building that's kind of on one post floating in the air. And well, I just kept going and built a way bigger house than I had planned on building. Um, but yeah, I did not have a reference picture for this house either. And so this build was very, um, complex and it took me just a while to kind of figure out where I was going, what I was doing, but I am really, really pleased with it. This house is definitely inspired inspired by the Laurel Canyon scene um, in the Laurel Canyon neighborhood in Los Angeles, which is in the Hollywood Hills um, in Los Angeles, California. And the Hollywood Hills are absolutely stunning they are windy roads where each house is hidden, you know, within these windy roads, but you are also about five minutes, relatively five to 10 minutes away from Sunset Boulevard. And I thought this was perfect because the views in the Del Sol Valley neighborhood, or the view in particular in this lot is identical to the view you would find in the hills in LA. So yeah, I had so much fun building this. I had promised myself that I was going to, for my next build, that I was going to really focus on building efficiently for um, the speed build because it's different than just building. You have to build for the camera essentially if that makes sense like for your editing process um i did the exact opposite like the complete opposite um and as a result i have to turn this into two speed builds um the exterior and the interior it i really wanted to not speed my um speed it up too fast because I do kind of run all over the place and I just think it's interesting to kind of watch what I do. I add and take away a lot of things. Um, this house has three bedrooms. Um, one of those bedrooms is a guest house which is not connected to the main house and that is one of the bedrooms. There is a master suite, and then there is a guest bedroom. There is also a sauna, a hot tub, a pool area, um, numerous private sitting areas, kind of on balconies for each room. And there is an office on the third floor. Well, the fourth floor, I don't know. It's like, I feel, there's like three floors, but it says four. I don't know. But um, yeah, there are sitting areas. There is two living areas, a fitness area, a home theater, and yeah, the office study, like I said. Uh, this is a split level house. Um, it's kind of like a staircase. It's like, it's like lower and then there's the second level and then it kind of extends to one room at the third level, which is at the top right there. Um, I'm adding a pool right now that I will take away eventually because part of the whole Laurel Canyon aspect that I was drawn to was the, so in the 1960s, and there's this great movie on Netflix called Echo in the Canyon that talks a lot about this. So if you're interested, check it out because it'll explain more than I do. But there were artists like Joni Mitchell and the Mamas and Papas and uh, the Eagles, the Monkees, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. All these famous rock stars lived within walking distance of each other. And 
Mama Cass from the Moms and Papas talks about how her um, house was an open door, and if she wanted to have, like, like she would just always have people over for picnics outside. And so I took, there is a pool on the lower, on the ground level, on the ground floor, but I took the one away on this one so that there was like an area outside if you wanted to do something like that because we do have picnic supplies, which is really cool. So yeah, um, let's see here. I just really, I used to live in Los Angeles, California, and I have been to Laurel Canyon a few times. Um, my former boss, um, who started the House of Blues, was a resident in the Laurel Canyon neighborhood, exactly. And then, um, believe it or not, I actually uh, used to hang out with Miley Cyrus a little bit. Um, I was a photographer for a band um, in Oklahoma, and they did an album with her. And I got to go and just kind of hang out a lot whenever I lived there. And so Miley lived, I don't, she didn't necessarily live in Laurel Canyon. She lived in Studio City, but she had a really like modest and very cool uh, one story um, house. So obviously it's not like this one, but it still has the same vibes. And then there is Another woman that I worked for years ago who uh, is a very famous celebrity. She is in all of the Resident Evils, um, The Fifth Element, uh, like literally everything. I'm blanking on all of her movies right now, even though I know every single one of them. She's in Dazed and Confused, which is one of my favorite movies, but Mila Jovovich. And she lives, I don't, she lives in the Hollywood Hills, maybe even the Beverly Hills, but I don't think that it is uh, Laurel Canyon there, um, but it's all in the same hill. So anyway, this house is mainly inspired by her house. Uh, the like the interior is very different from the interior in her home, but kind of the split level um, thing that I went for um, is similar to her house. So those were my reference points. But as far as like pictures on Pinterest, which is usually what I look at, I just, I looked at some, but I just kind of, I just kind of went for it. So yeah, there are a lot of lines in this house and a lot of um, windows, that's for sure. But so, okay, I am showing you guys this because I think it is a cool little trick, but I don't keep it. I've used it in other builds before, but um, yeah, you just kind of size up the, uh, I think it's the spa day illuminated flooring thing, and you can stack them on top of each other. And I mean, there's a million things you could probably do with that. I think it's really kind of a fun little feature. Um, I love using that, but I just didn't like the way that it looked kind of towards the end of the build. And so, yeah, this house went from like, I don't know, a bunch of colors to a very Sedona, Arizona kind of kind of look. Um, so this was just so much fun building this. I think the scene of Laurel Canyon is very, it's really appealing to me. I mean, I just love how there are the greatest music in the world was created in the sixties, maybe the seventies. I don't know, but like definitely in the sixties and it's some of the greatest music in the world. Um, you know, they, a lot of those artists did get to play at Woodstock and, there is also a documentary on Netflix about Woodstock, and they do talk about how, you know, that music during the time is the greatest music um, on earth. And so, yeah, I just, I just was feeling it. So I, I went for it, and I just kind of loved this idea. This house is, like, very uh, fit for a party. There are, there is a security gate at the front. There are like numerous cameras throughout the house, like, you know, security cameras. And I don't know, it just kind of gave me all of the feels. And soon, so I tried to fit in as much of the, uh, you know, 
build as I could. You're not going to see very much landscaping because I'm just still figuring it out. I'm just still figuring out how to build fluently and landscape fluently without making it where it's just not even edit editable. Is that the word? To edit mixed with able, editable. I don't know. But um, yeah, I use these little iron posts a lot. I brought them up in my last mid-century build, which is sort of similar to this one. Not, It's not really similar, but it is still in that kind of night. Well, it's not similar at all. I mean, it's like, no, it's not. It's more retro, kind of groovy. This house is more glam, I guess, and a little bit more California. Um, so I love these things. These are just like in the base game and the debug menu and the black, white, like a brownie gray and a green. And it's like an end to a fence. There they are. Um, yeah. But I love them. You can put them in shelves. You can put them how I'm using them. You can do quite a bit with them. Um, so yeah, you could make like floating chairs because we don't have any of those like hanging kind of chairs. So I don't know, but I think that they're pretty cool. Yeah. So I was trying to, <laughs> I'm just so bad at landscaping. Oh God, it's so hard. I don't know. It's like Sim Lissy is like a master at landscaping. She really is. And so is um, Harry is really good at it too. Her recent build of the Prince Charles's Manor has gorgeous landscaping. I, she is pretty spectacular at that. Um, and then I believe it is Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. Yeah, she is. I think she does really great landscaping too. Um, especially in her little lake house build. I really liked that. But I, I don't, you know, so I don't do the best landscaping. <laughs> um, I will learn as I go. I don't know. I've already learned so much in this short month that I've been doing this, even though I have been building for mm, 15 years. I have never um, put it on YouTube before, so I'm definitely learning as I go. And I think it's better each time, but like the landscaping is not better each time. I don't know. I wish there was like a class. I don't know. Anyway, I'll figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out still. I just don't, I just don't know. But any, anywho, this is the office at the third level right here. And, you know, a lot of these posts do get moved around, but that is the only room that stays at the top. And I just kind of like that because it's like, the appearance of kind of a staircase, like a three step down, um, elongated thing. I'm not sure. Um, here I go trying to add some colors and I did, you know, rewatching this, I do like the colors, but I just thought it was a little too 1960s because the interior, um, is definitely more mm, contemporary. There are some, in the uh, chemosphere room, the octagonal room, there is, it's a little bit more kind of 1960s, but not, not all of it is. So yeah, I just, I had to get rid of the colors, um, you know, but yeah, that pool will also leave very soon. I just thought that that was so cool how Mama Cass used to have I just think it's, first of all, amazing that all of these brilliant artists lived within walking distance of each other. And I think Michelle Phillips, who was also in the Mamas and Papas, said that one time she went to Brian Wilson's house in the Beach Boys and like the whole living room was filled with sand and a piano was in the center of it. And she was like, what is going on? And uh, Brian Wilson's wife was like, I don't know what's going on. This is how Brian wants it, but he's writing some really good songs. And then he released Pet Sounds. And that is a very, very famous album. So I just think the whole scene is so cool. I love it so much. It reminds me of my time in LA. That's why I was drawn to LA. And I just, I really, 
I, I loved building this house, just thinking about kind of the history of Laurel Canyon and of these artists because they created a lot of really, really impressive stuff. So yeah, soon I have these, you know, I'm about to take all of this down and you will see that because one of the major, um, I don't know if it's like a housing requirement. I would assume that it is, um, but I forgot to look that up before I did this. Um, you, most houses do not obstruct the view. So even, you know, a lot of these houses in the hills are tucked away, but they do not obstruct the views from their neighbors. And I think that is an incredibly um, important feature because in Los Angeles, the view from the canyon to the city is uh, priceless. And I did not want to obstruct the view from the people behind me, even though I am essentially at the bottom of the hill. I mean, I just don't think it's appropriate to have an eyesore kind of stick out the way that I feel like it is right now. So I do keep that third level, but everything else, you'll see, you'll see soon. Um, I think that those colors are so cute, but maybe that would be better in Oasis Springs again. Um, not so much Del Sol. Um, there really are not a lot of houses in the canyon that are uh, kind of color block like I am doing right now. That is more definitely more of a Palm Springs kind of feel. The houses in the canyon are the houses in the canyon are pretty not earthy. They're all there are millions of kinds or styles of houses, but they are a little bit earthier. Um, the houses in the hills are more. You know, there's a variety of kind of mansion style houses, you really can find whatever you want if you are looking to buy there. <laughs> Not that anybody is because you have to be pretty, pretty successful to afford that. But um, someday, I don't know. That is the guest suite right there. I abs that's That turned out to be my favorite spot. I just, I really like it. It's really cozy and it's private. Um, that was inspired by uh, Mila Jovovich, the actress I was referring to. She has a guest house um, off to the side of her main house and that is where I stayed, and I love that guest house. It was so cozy, and it was really a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And so I'm really excited that I got to recreate it and kind of, you know, it's not based on her. Like, the decoration is not based, the interior is not based on her um, interior. I... I don't even know if I could recreate that. She is a beautiful house and not that the stuff in the Sims isn't beautiful, but I feel like it would take definitely some CC and a lot of time because I would not want to butcher it. And I also don't know if she would want me to recreate her house um, on the internet. So huh? I don't know, but yeah. And I think that octagonal room is so cool it's not a key it's not the chemosphere obviously but that's where I started I was just gonna do that one room and that's it but here I am uh, oh well I'm pretty sure we are about to remove some of the stuff um for the most part though the house layout does stay like this I wanted to show you guys um the pool um landscaping that I did but there wasn't enough time and I did it after I finished the house so like while I'm doing it you can basically just see all of the interior and I'm just like oh I'm learning it's hard every single video I do is a different experience so I was gonna make sure that I built way more efficiently and I seriously did the exact opposite so that seems like typical me I tend to do that 
Like if someone tells me to do something one way, I will do the opposite. It's really fun, fun way of doing things and that. But yeah. So yeah, I just kind of thought that this just started getting a little bit too big, but too big, but like too, you know, you can't see the view and the view is whenever I started furnishing this and I just went inside the rooms, I just sat there for a second. It was like, wow, (laughs) the views in this world are to die for. I, I can't believe it. You know, I know that people have feelings about the Sims 4, um, compared to maybe the gameplay in the Sims 4, um, compared to the gameplay in Sims 2 and 3. But for a builder, um, I feel like EA may have had to sacrifice a little bit of the gameplay to make the um, building options um, way more complex. And I am, I mean, you cannot build a house like this in The Sims 3 or The Sims 2 and definitely not The Sims 1. Um, I used to love building in The Sims 3, Um, not even comparable to what you can do in The Sims 4. So, I mean... I know, I I know how people feel, but I'm really impressed with the detail, with the level of detail in all of the worlds. They are all pretty pretty amazing, and I'm really blown away by how much you can do, how many different options you can do um, as far as building goes. I love one of my my favorite thing to do in the sims is definitely which is why i think my speed builds take longer or i have way too much footage but i love manipulating objects and creating new objects i really like those objects to be functional i don't want to make like a bed that doesn't you know work um so it's challenging and i really like it so as you can see i have kind of removed the whole chunk that was sitting above this um, first living room right here. I will also get rid of that thing on the left, the tall, the taller one on the left, where this is all just a flat one story, and then it will kind of cascade up into the third floor. Um, I thought that was much more fitting uh, for the uh, Laurel Canyon Hollywood Hills theme. Um, they, the houses there do not obstruct the views for anybody because people pay millions of dollars to live there. And the last thing you want is someone building like a mega mansion in front of you. I don't even think you can do that. I'm pretty sure they have strict building codes. There's no way you could do that. But what is cool about their building codes is I think you can do kind of multiple styles. You don't have to stick with one style, but you can't be blocking the view, you know? So yeah. Um, I can't wait to show you guys the furnishing one too. That will be out in uh, probably Sunday. And oh, I'm just so excited. The interior is pretty amazing. And this is just a fun house. There's kind of little hallways, different ways to get to rooms, but it's all pretty accessible. Um, I even think it would be accessible in real life. I mean, I don't think that it's too like, out there really um i think it's pretty it's not like windy but there's little just hallways and stairs but they're i don't know you'll see i don't know but yeah this is kind of the beginning of what will be by the pool um Unfortunately, like the pool is kind of in a shaded area, um, but this is not real life. So I had to let go of, you know, my frustration that the pool was in the shade, but in reality or in sim, sim reality, they, they can still lay out and sunbathe even, even if they're not totally in the sun. So that was really all that mattered to me. Um, yeah. And I kind of like this little wall too. I don't know. Every time I start doing landscaping, everything just starts getting really messy, but, um, mm, see kind of that one, two, three. I like that a lot. 
Um, and I think that the room up there is like, look at the view that you would get if that is the office upstairs. So, I mean, it's just a spectacular view. I kind of imagined maybe somebody in this house being a director or a um, very established actor, um, but maybe a director because there are um, hallways lined with the movie posters and movie um, from the Get Famous, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Um, lined with kind of all of that stuff. And there are a lot of awards too and displayed in the office and throughout the hallways. And so I don't know, it just seemed more fitting for a director. Um, maybe the other person that lives here or however many people you want to live here are all in the entertainment industry. I'm not sure. Whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, so... This is just coming along very well. I do extend the house a little bit, and I did that off camera, but to make room for the um, master suite, which is on the second floor, I guess, which would also be the third floor because the second floor is actually those like floors you see that don't have foundation under them. That is, you have to build that on the second floor, so... I don't know. I kind of need to figure out the ins, the ins and out of that. Um, mainly in this build, I used the Jungle Adventure paint, the Spa Day paint as well. Uh, get Famous flooring. There is marble in some areas. Um, let's see here. I used plants from the debug and from the show hidden objects cheat from strangerville and from get together and maybe cats and dogs and maybe even island living i'm not too sure um i don't think i did though well maybe like a no i didn't i, I used the base game palm tree um let's see here throughout the house and the interior which we'll talk about later or like in the other video is mainly um vintage glamour and get famous that vintage glamour pack is pretty legit i like that quite a bit that um hallway that i am lining with windows right there is will lead to a spa and it is also where um all of the posters are displayed and i don't know it was just so much fun doing this because i am familiar with this culture a little bit and I was, I didn't mean to do this. Like I was starting a totally different kind of house, completely different house. And this is where I ended up going. And so, yeah, that is, a, that's like the only staircase, I think, and from the lower level to the upper level. So I like that there's not like you don't have to access, it's easily accessible. So yeah. And then the master suite will be off to the left over there. I haven't really created that yet. And I mean, the, I like the pool up there, but you know. So yeah, see how we're sitting kind of at the bottom of the hill here. Obviously, even if I would have built a taller house, it still probably would not have. Abs oh my God. Okay. I can see that I left a pair of the white headphones sitting on that path outside I don't know why I took those out but I did and then I totally left them there and I might have even uploaded it to the gallery with those on there so surprise you have headphones I love when the terrain paint too when you can just like squash it down that is one of the most satisfying things I've ever done like it just all kind of folds down and I love watching that so I am not going to um, build walls around this room yet I still wasn't totally sure where I was going with it. And I was like, I'm just going to start furnishing the house and I will come back to this later, which is another challenge for making a speed build because obviously you probably want to see the whole house get done in a very fluent manner. And I don't know, give me a few, give me a few months. I don't know. I'm new. I'm new at this. So 
yeah, but I just kind of left that like that for now. And, um, you'll see it in the interior of the house, which is going to be really great. Um, I highly recommend that I did add those little like kind of step things that lead up. I was going to put, um, like aloe vera type plants all around them, but like I'm not, not great at landscaping. And so I just kind of left them. Um, I fill them in with grass, but I kind of leave them blank and I actually like it. Um, yeah, I don't know why I just kind of like it. So if you don't like it, fill it up with whatever you want. And if you do like it, cool. And if you don't like it at all, you can delete it very easily. But I thought it was kind of, kind of fun. Just kind of making the top of the hill connect with the bottom of the hill. Um, I used those wall slats a lot. I think that that's, there was like some wall slats came with get famous and then some came with city living. So I feel like those, the ones against the wall are get famous. Um, and then the ones that do not, um, snap to the wall is probably city living. I used both. So yeah. Yeah. I don't know what the staircase, I was like, I don't know what's going on, but that's not, that's not what I decided to do there. So, oh, well. Yeah, the pool was a little bit tricky too because I had kind of messed with the terrain a lot, but that is where I will add a hot tub area and it will also lead into the spa, which is, I guess, kind of underground essentially. Not in a basement, but it is underground. And I don't know, it's just so much fun. I got to add so many things. I get rid of that like green bush on the side of that because I found one, I replace it with one that has better a better... Um, green color, not so much of a plasticky green color. Um, I do get rid of one of those rafts. I totally redo the pool. It's in the screenshots. I don't know. Someday I'll be able to fit this whole build and hopefully the interior too into one speed build. But right now I'm just doing the best I can. It was very important to me to not, um, move too fast. I wanted my camera to not make you guys motion sick. And yeah, so I am wrapping up on this house, um, right now. And I am trying to figure out what to put there. I end up putting a kind of a little makeshift fire pit that works and I love it so much. And I add, Oh, don't look, don't look up there. That's the furnishing of the, yeah. Ah, stop. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I forgot what I was saying now because I was, uh, oh, the, uh, like privacy hedging, um, fence. And then I also add a security gate at the front, which was really fun. I had so much fun making that. And most houses of, um, in the hills do have something kind of like that. But yeah, check out my speed build coming um, Sunday. It will be the interior, and it was so much fun to do the interior. It took me a long time, but I wasn't upset about it. I was, I really wanted, this was a very special build to me, and um, I really wanted to take my time. So enjoy, guys, and I will see you Sunday.